I bet you love french fries. I mean, who doesn't? They're crispy and tasty and you can eat them with your hands. Problem is, most french fries are made of starchy white potatoes that don't have much nutritional value, especially after they've been deep fried in oil. That's why I wanted to show you these four french fry hacks using other, more nutritious veggies that taste delicious and will trick your mind into thinking they're bad for you. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first veggie I'm going to be working with is a turnip. It's an excellent source of antioxidants, minerals, vitamins, and dietary fiber. What you want to do first is peel the outside skin of the turnip and then cut it into fries. Once you have your fries, add them into a large mixing bowl and then add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Then to that, you want to add salt and pepper to taste and about one tablespoon of garlic powder. Mix everything together and then lay it out on a baking sheet sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. Bake at 420 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. The next veggie I'm going to transform into delicious fries is zucchini, or courgettes as they're known in many parts of the world. They are low on the glycemic index and high in essential nutrients like potassium, manganese, and antioxidants. Cut the zucchini into fries. Set them aside and then in a large mixing bowl, add one cup of panko crumbs. Then to that, add half a cup of grated Parmesan. And then one tablespoon of parsley, one tablespoon of garlic powder, and then salt and pepper. Mix all the dry ingredients together and then in another bowl, crack two eggs and beat them. Dip each zucchini fry into the egg wash and then coat it with the panko crumb mixture. Lay them out on a baking sheet sprayed with non-stick cooking spray and then bake at 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Next up, asparagus, high in vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and dietary fiber. First, cut off the ends and then into halves and set them aside. In a large mixing bowl, add one cup of panko crumbs, half a cup of grated Parmesan, two tablespoons of oregano, and then salt and pepper. Mix all of the dry ingredients together and then in another bowl, crack two eggs and beat them. Dip each asparagus fry into the egg wash and then coat it in the panko crumb mixture. Lay out each asparagus fry onto a baking sheet sprayed with nonstick cooking spray and bake at 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. And lastly, carrots. They're high in vitamin A and a good source of other vitamins and minerals as well. First, peel the skin of the carrot. Then cut the carrot into fries. Once you have your fries, add them into a large mixing bowl and add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Then to that, you want to add salt and pepper, about one teaspoon of garlic powder, and about one teaspoon of paprika. Mix everything together and lay out on a baking sheet sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. Bake at 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. And when you take them out of the oven, you can toss them in grated Parmesan cheese and chopped parsley like I did. And now for the dipping sauce. You want to add one cup of Greek yogurt, add in the juice of half a lemon, salt and pepper to taste, about one tablespoon of garlic powder, and about one tablespoon of chopped parsley. Mix everything together and refrigerate or serve right away. And voila, you've got four french fry dupes that you can make instead of your traditional french fries to hack your way to a healthier you. 
Hey, can I tell you a secret? If you're subscribed to my channel, you might still be missing out on my content. To make sure you don't miss my next video, click on this little bell icon next to the subscribe button and check off this box to receive notifications from my channel every time I upload a video. Want to see what I'm up to outside of YouTube? Follow me on Instagram, Snap, and Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe. I love being organized because then I feel like I have less distractions around me and I can focus on what's really important. And that's why I'm always on the hunt for new ways on how to keep my life more organized and less chaotic. So in search of new ways on keeping my life organized and clutter free, I stumbled upon a ton of ideas that not only take up a ton of time, but they end up making your space look a lot messier than it was to begin with.